point to me when you're ready. Ready? Ready. Hey, it's your girl, Lady B. It's Friday, and we are still schooling John the Intern. Hey, John. Hey there. How you been, sweetie? I've been good. I've been learning a lot about Stephanie Mills this week. Stephanie Mills, the whiz kid. So what did you learn about my girl, Stephanie? Actually, I found out the first interesting thing I found out, because I knew she was in the whiz. I liked the whiz growing up. But her middle name is actually Dorothy. <laughs> oh, really? In yeah. real life? I yeah. see. Her middle name She's is... my friend, and I didn't know that. Wait till I see her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, she actually started in Broadway. She was a big... No, the, the fifth of six children. She was a Broadway star at age like nine. Mm -hmm. She did it for two years until she was eleven. Then people, you know, picked her up and began to notice her. She was picked up by Motown Records and I believe Paramount Records. But they Motown dropped her because nothing really. Everything she kind of did flopped at first. She didn't really find her niche. It wasn't until she was in The Wiz that she was really noticed and picked up as an artist. I do know that, yeah. And she that's didn't get her break at first. It was a little rough start for Stephanie. Yeah, yeah. And that's also where she met Michael Jackson. And she is the holder of the title, a very coveted title, the only black woman to ever, to ever date, date Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Wow. Ever. To ever, ever. Like, ever. he dated no other black woman other than Stephanie Mills. Actually, she was kind of like a, a relationship whirlwind. She only she never really dated anybody for more than two years, and she never stayed married for more than two years. Yeah, I knew that she has relationship yeah, issues. Yeah, so what yeah. did she do to Michael is what I'm wondering. You know what? <laughs> Don't put <play laughs> that on Stephanie. That, that, that was not you fair. You have to ask. That is not fair. So, Dad, have you caught up with Miss Stephanie Mills today and what she's doing now? Yeah, she yeah. She's, um, she's still on tour. She's touring right now. Um, check out her official website. It's... After you get past the very long intro, the flash introduction to the site, which is literally like five to six minutes long, which is just pointless, you get into you see, and you see that she's actually still doing stuff. Speak she's, your mind, why don't you, John? Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, she's still doing stuff, still touring. She's um, working on a. She recently released some singles with DMX. Okay. And um, but her most popular work will still be the what she did in the seventies and eighties, Home. From the Wiz, yes, of course. My favorite. Which has been redone so many times by so many artists that people just. Okay, so in, in your research, did she touch, did you find out anything about how she feels about motherhood? You know, she has a son. Yeah, she said that this, the best thing that ever happened to her was when becoming a mother because wow. it, it, she, her relationships were unsuccessful, like when she was dating and married and everything, yeah. but the relationship that really stood... I feel you, Steph. I keep picking the wrong one, too, girl. Anyway, what? Yeah, but the relationship that always kind of stayed constant was like, you know, that with her son. And her son actually has Down syndrome, and um, she just, you know, that experience for her was just so, like enlightening and taught her so much that she really doesn't would never go back go nah, back on it wouldn't change a thing yep gotta love stephanie mills yeah it's your girl lady b and john is learning about r&b and hip-hop we are schooling the intern literally right here at 107.9 wrnb say peace john peace john